Hello viewers, today I'm going to solve question number 30 of 0780 Physics 1, Cameroon, GC, June 2020 session. Listen and follow up attentively as I solve this problem. The question says, A sample of an ideal gas is in a tank of constant volume. The sample gains heat energy and its temperature changes from 300 Kelvin to 900 Kelvin. If V1 is the average speed of the gas molecules before absorption of heat and V2 the average speed after absorption of heat, what is the ratio V2 over V1? So these are the different uh, answers that we have. So we have four choices. A is 3 over 2, B is root 3, C is root 2, and D is 1 third. Now, the solution to this problem is as follows. The energy possessed by the gas molecules that enables them to be in motion with an average speed V is called kinetic energy, given by the formula. Kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared, where m is the average mass of the gas molecules. Since we have many gas molecules, so we take the average mass of it, just like we have the average speed. So at T1, 300 Kelvin, we have kinetic energy. 1 to be equal to half mv square of 1 where m is a mass which is constant and at t2 we have the temperature to be 900 kelvin this gives us a kinetic and kinetic energy 2 of half mv square of 2 now, if we make use of ratio, we are going to have kinetic energy 2 divided by kinetic energy 1 equal to uh, temperature 2 divided by temperature 1. Why? Because we have been asked to calculate this ratio V2 over V1. That's why we are taking kinetic energy 2 on kinetic energy 1. Now, if we simplify the left-hand side, this is the left-hand side. If we simplify the left-hand side, we get V2 square over V1 square to be equal to T2 over T1. But we know that this is the same uh, by indices. It's the same as V2 over V1, all that square. And this is equal to T2 over T1. If and only if you have v2 over v1 to be equal to the square root of uh, t2 divided by t1. If we substitute for t2 and t1 in this equation, we are going to have our v2 over v1 to be equal to root 3. Hence, our correct choice is b. Please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for this is your own way of supporting my work. Okay, I've actually solved this problem based on kinetic theory of matter and also knowing fully well that there are two types of energy, potential energy and kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of a body is due to its motion. So we are taking into account that uh, by the kinetic theory, matter is made of tiny particles which are in constant random motion. When you change, namely in our case, you increase the temperature of a body, the motion of these particles too increase. The particles move faster. So at a temperature, say 300 Kelvin, the particles will move less compared to at a temperature of say 900 Kelvin. Now, I want you to 
remember this, that a change of temperature always causes a change of state. Don't forget, I said a change of temperature always causes a change of state. The word change of temperature means you can increase the temperature, you can decrease the temperature. In our problem here, we have increased the temperature. Don't forget. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your keen attention. That was the pass I got for you today. Look up to my next video by not forgetting to subscribe because you are going to be having a lot of information as far as Cameroon General Certificate of Education is concerned. I'm going to be solving a great number of problems. So, see you in my next video.